Taylor Swift, known for her glamorous red carpet appearances and iconic concert looks, showed up to the Kansas City Chiefs game in an outfit that was anything but ordinary. Her ensemble, which reportedly cost over $60,000, included a $1,750 Versace denim corset top adorned with gold medusa detailing and matching denim short shorts. She completed the look with maroon, patent leather Giuseppe Zanotti boots, priced at $1,650, and a $3,950 Louis Vuitton trunk bag, all perfectly coordinated with the Chief's signature red. Swift's accessories were just as lavish as her outfit. She sported a $13,200 gold link bracelet, a $29,100 interlocking puzzle ring, and a $12,750 coin necklace. Her ears sparkled with mini diamond huggies worth $850 and a $590 starburst charm. With this ensemble, Swift brought her signature high fashion flair to the football field, but not everyone was a fan. The backlash came swiftly, with critics taking to social media to voice their disapproval. On Reddit and other platforms, users harshly critiqued the mismatched denim, with one calling it their least favorite look Swift has ever worn. Others took aim at her stylist, claiming the outfit looked like a redneck trying to be sexy. Some even compared her look to recent fashion missteps by Blake Lively, further fueling the debate. The criticism wasn't just about the denim. Many questioned the overall cohesiveness of the outfit, pointing out that the boots didn't quite match the rest of the ensemble. Several fans lamented that the color of the corset didn't exactly match the shorts, making the outfit feel less intentional and more of a hot mess express, as one commenter put it. The mismatched denim seemed to be a particular sticking point, with many Redditors agreeing that the look would have been better if the pieces had been more coordinated. Despite the criticism, Swift had her fair share of supporters. Many fans praised her for the bold style and defended her choice, calling it fun and perfect for the game. Some expressed admiration for her ability to pull off such a daring look, especially the towering Zanotti boots that would be challenging for most to wear. Others appreciated the fact that Swift stayed true to her unique fashion sense, even if it didn't align with everyone's tastes. This isn't the first time Swift has faced scrutiny over her fashion choices, and it likely won't be the last. Fashion is, after all, subjective, and while some may not have loved her game day look, others saw it as a playful expression of her style. As the football season continues, we can expect more of Swift's signature bold looks, and the ongoing debate over her fashion choices is sure to follow. But the conversation goes beyond just this one outfit. The larger question is whether public figures like Taylor Swift are held to an unrealistic standard when it comes to fashion. Should celebrities feel the pressure to dress a certain way to please the public, or should they have the freedom to experiment with their style, even if it doesn't always land with everyone? In the world of fashion, not every outfit will be a hit. But Taylor Swift's willingness to take risks and stay true to herself is part of what makes her such an icon. Whether you loved or hated her $60,000 game day look, there's no denying that it sparked a conversation, and that's what fashion is all about. What do you think? Was this a fashion faux pas, or just another example of Taylor pushing the boundaries of style? Thank you for watching the Fame Journey! If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the latest celebrity news and trends. Let us know in the comments what you thought of Taylor's look, and whether you think the criticism was justified. See you in the next video!